Hey YouTube, what's up? Um, oops, sorry, pencil in my ear. <laughs> anyway, uh, this video that I'm making today is actually kind of a um, viewer request, so to speak. One of my subscribers and a fellow YouTube channel uh, owner, uh, Anna Melaragno, I hope I'm saying your name. I will be putting a link to your page in my comment box below, or the description below. Uh, so if you guys want to check her out, she grows all kinds of orchids and all sorts of plants. She has a really cool stipelia, which is a lifesaver plant. Um, this video is actually tour a question she had about her ficus, her rubber tree ficus. And people who often have these old house plants tend to let them go. They get old, they get leggy. And there is a way to revive them. And I wanted to know if there was a way to either make it compact or to bonsai it. And you can do both. I thought about it during the day, and since it's winter time, the growth on a ficus will slow down. It won't completely stop, but it'll slow. Like the guy I have over here, I'm going to use him as an example. Um, they grow like crazy in the summertime when it's hot and humid and wet in our, our areas and regions. Uh, I live in Zone 6B. I'm sure she lives in probably the same, I believe, maybe Zone 5. Not sure. Hot summers, July, August, the, the growth just explodes on these guys. You'll often leave them alone for a week, come back with a long linear branch growing off of it. As long as you're watering them and feeding them properly, they will grow, 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 grow. Um, they're not too picky. The only time they get really picky is when you move them from place to place, and I went over that before with ficus, they will drop their leaves. So to mess with your plant, Anna, this time of year, I would do it minimally. Um, drastic major cuts and stuff, it will not heal from because it's not in a fast and really heavy growth mode. So a lot of the stuff that you would do would probably be visible. Um, I did a chart over here of the, just a minor sketch of what her plant might look like without any leaves on it. But I, I did it and I realized that I was doing the major pruning and I have a major cut. I'm like, ah, that's not good this time of year. But in the springtime, you can do that, and then as the heat picks up, the plant will grow, and hopefully, to make it compact and bushy, it will produce side branches. But I want to use this guy here as an example, because I think, I looked at the leaves on your tree, Anna, the leaves look very similar to a uh, ficus retusa, except yours are just much larger. So, what I think I suggest for you to do is two things. Number one, I want you to do the same thing I did to him to make yours bigger, because yours, I think, has two, um, two separate branches growing, and you can combine them and cause it to fuse together, and there's a way of doing it, and I'll explain that. Uh, first, I'm going to grab the camera, I'm going to pull it over here just to show the leaves and what I'm suggesting to do, okay? All right, so... With your tree, oh, let me bump stuff. If you notice that the leaves are pretty, like almost oval shaped, with a little tiny point on the end. Um, let me put this thing in front of here. Actually, I'll move this over here. Sorry for the camera, bad camera angles. Um, in the center, there's always a new leaf that forms around these old leaves. What you want to do, Anna, is just Go from the tip of the leaf on the branches and follow it back. If you get to a point where you see no leaves, like down here, don't cut it. Just prune off all the new growth and leave some of the older, more mature leaves and do it for all the branches and just like almost pinch them off, leaving this piece here. You don't want to take the whole thing off. What you want to do is you want to leave the stem, actually the leaf stem. Just cut the leaf, but leave the leaf stem. It'll help keep sap flow and hopefully promote some new growth. Because as it produces new growth, what it's going to do is eventually shoot some of that growth down below because it won't put all this energy into these new tips, these growing tips. So what you're really going to do is take off all the new growing tips and the tips of the branches. Just nip them. Do this during the winter time as it gets warmer. Then we can do something like this. As you can see, i got a red line going straight across. All these upper branches we can just get rid of and leaving with just this. 
Hopefully what that'll do, which it does with most ficus, it forces new growth down here, which will cause your plant to be more bushy. Now, showing the trunk on my little ficus right here, he's wrapped in tape only because it protects his bark from the wire. He was fused together. This was two trunks. As a matter of fact, this was three. What you're going to do, Anna, is when you get time... This trunk and this trunk, on the inner portions of the inside, take a razor blade, slice down the bark, down the bark, going past that green uh, underlayer, the cambium, get into the wood layer, make sure the wounds are directly across from each other. What you're going to do is wrap it together tight, wound to wound. You can use um, Teflon tape is a one is really good. Uh, you could also use um, I'm trying to think what they call it. It's like a cellophane wrap. Just make sure it's really tight. I mean really tight. You want good contact with those wounds. The cambium layer on the outside of the wounds, like here's your wound, the cambium layer on each side will fuse to the other wound. The outer layers will fuse with outer layers the wood won't fuse and eventually it'll grow over and then it'll be one solid trunk the second option if you don't want to damage your tree and you're afraid of hurting it is just get cellophane big wads of wet sphagnum have a huge wad wrapped around the tree here but make sure you do tighten these things together tie them together somehow then wrap that sphagnum with uh, cellophane nice and tight and then wrap that with foil and keep it that way and keep it moist, not dripping wet, but moist. What will happen is you'll start to produce aerial roots. Now those aerial roots will come down, come down, come down. And eventually when they start getting into the soil, you'll slowly expose the roots and they'll start to turn woody, hard, and then it'll make the trunk look huge. And then in the summertime, then you can actually really tighten around those roots, binding them to the actual bark of the trunks, making it really thick, like a heavy banyan tree that's in the jungle. But for right now, this is the only major thing I suggest you do. Other than that, just cut off the growing tips. Like, just take something that's like a new growing tip and just pinch it off. Like, if it was down in here, try to do an example. Sorry about the lighting. Like in here is a new leaf, right here. So what I'm going to do is just pinch it out. Just pinch out any new growth tips. And that's all I really suggest you doing. I don't think you really have to do much. I think for what little you'll do during the winter time, I think that'll be a lot because they do respond very well to pruning. I mean, this thing gets pruned quite a bit, and it's already got new branches coming out in different areas, and down in here, along back here. Um, what you should probably do also, I know you said you give it coffee grounds. Supplement also a little bit of Osmocote inside in the coffee grounds, something that's granular and time-released. It'll feed it throughout the wintertime slowly along with the coffee grounds, and I think that'll help it out, because ficus are heavy feeders, so I would do that. All right, I think that should help you out, and if you have any further questions, obviously just let me know and put some your uh, your questions in the comments box below. Wow, it's been a long day, and now it's raining, and the cats bother me for food. <laughs> As you can see, she just jumped behind me. Anyway, well, obviously I'm needed for food duty, so... I gotta go. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.